Hi everyone, my name is Tatiana and this is Russian Culture Weekly. Today we have a literature topic, which is The Blizzard by Alexander Pushkin. The Blizzard is the part of a series of short stories known as The Belkin's Tales, or officially The Tales of the Late Ivan Petrovich Belkin. This series was written in 1830, while Pushkin was actually quarantined in the village of Boldina during an outbreak of cholera. Oh, those quarantines! This period of time, so-called Boldina Autumn, was extremely productive for Alexander Pushkin. He finished Eugene Onegin and composed 32 poems, uh, narrative poetry, Little House in Kolomna, and wrote the Belkin's Tales and the Little Tragedies series. The Blizzard is also a 1964 Soviet movie based on Pushkin's book, and the movie has absolutely gorgeous soundtrack by Georgi Sviridov, but we will return to that a little bit later. So, The Blizzard. Although it's called a novel in Russian, it is actually quite short, only 18 pages as an e-book in Russian, and I guess it's even shorter in English. The story has a part of Zhukovsky's poem Svetlana as an epigraph, Svetlana is a poem named by its main female character, a girl Svetlana, who is fortune-telling and sees herself marrying a dead man in a church situated in the middle of a terrible blizzard. So, having this poem as an epigraph, you could tell that something probably is going to go wrong in the blizzard. We are introduced to the main character, a 17-year-old girl, Maria Gavrilovna, who's raised on French poems and therefore in love, as Pushkin describes her. Despite many rich noblemen asking for her hand, Maria Gavrilovna is badly in love with a poor soldier staying in a nearby village during his vacation. Of course, the parents of the girl are not quite enthusiastic about her relationship, and Maria Gavrilovna and her soldier, equally infatuated, write letters to each other and eventually develop a plan of what to do. They decide to run away and get married secretly, and then return to Maria Gavrilovna's parents, who will have no other choice than to embrace both of their children. So, a plan is developed. Maria Gavrilovna, with a handmaid, will travel five versts from her home to a nearby village and meet her soldier in a church there. A verst is an ancient Russian measure of distance roughly equal to 1.1 km or two-thirds of a mile. And what could possibly go wrong on such a short distance? Well, everything and the terrible blizzard raging outside isn't exactly helping. Right here, I stopped telling you the plot, not to spoil anything. I've linked the English version for you in the description box. I've checked it, the translation is fine, and it will take roughly 15 minutes to read the book. So, let's talk a little bit about the movie now. The Blizzard is a Soviet screen adaptation of the book Blizzard by Pushkin. It actually fascinates me how they could make 75 minutes of the movie out of 18 pages of the book. Unfortunately, I haven't found a fully English subtitled version of the movie, but there are some fragments of it uh, on YouTube with Spanish subtitles, which you can find with this request. The soundtrack was composed by Georgi Sviridov, a famous Soviet composer, and includes nine themes for 75 minutes of the movie. You can find the music with a link in the description box. The music actually outlived the movie and is often played by orchestras during concerts of classic music. Right, that's all for today's video. I hope you've discovered something new to your liking. Please share your thoughts on the blizzard if you've read it. 
and any suggestions or ideas for future videos are more than welcome. Like and subscribe, take care and see you next week.